Say so 119 get 20 million dollar lawsuit. And 119 afraid of people. <laughs> and 119 know the law. Me know what he said. Me know any defamation. Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about one one can responding to some rumors that circulating that Miss Kitty husband Ian Wilkinson actually filed a twenty million dollars defamation lawsuit against him. You understand? And if you dip on TikTok hard, you'd actually run across a post which says that this man here started to cry and him say I'm gonna stop talking about Miss Kitty because you know him actually a talk about Miss Kitty from the other day and some people are say you don't mind the woman so you. So a lot of persons are kinda glad when they me about the last so I'm actually address it now right my people so may I play the video and stuff like that and also we're gonna talk about some breaking news that we're getting as it relates to one of the men them actually pleading guilty in the taking out of Paul Wells daughter and the child mom so somebody finally plead guilty my people so we definitely need to stick around because you don't want to miss this you understand what I'm saying also we're gonna talk about Sean Storm attorney Bert Samuels reacting to vibes cartel and the co-accused upcoming hearing in the UK next same people so Bert Samuels is very optimistic and he feels as if they got this in the bag and all of them will end up busting off this case you understand my people now separately from that we're gonna talk about Valiant who is currently denying that he was actually dissing popcorn in our post we make yesterday also we're gonna talk about massacre addressing bounty killer during a recent interview and also we're gonna talk about Ramesh flapping triple X comments after triple X said that people who work and do like promotion for Ramesh them not really make no money and some cool kids with us want to be a part of Ramish entertainment kids when not really have bills then put it away there so Ramish make a post and me know a triple x in my shade also we're gonna talk about dancehall artist ding dang whose song was recently banned in a london club for safety reasons because the people them say when ding dang song play it seemed like the club might end up on fire so we're gonna talk about it is it anyway my people before we're gonna further into the topics don't forget for like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time for but i definitely appreciate that right my people so the first thing we're going to talk about is the update that we're getting as it relates to one of the persons them pleading guilty in the taking out of paul wells daughter right so this is what the story i say man pleads guilty in the taking out of paul wells daughter and child's mom one of three men charged in relation to the taking out of 27 year old tashana patterson and her 10 month old daughter saraya Palwell has pleaded guilty to two counts of m-u-r-d-e-r and two counts of napping the defendants entered the plea before supreme court judge justice lana shelley williams on thursday afternoon he is to return to court on november the 15th for sentencing the man is among four persons charged with the macabre taking out of the mother and the child whose father is member of parliament philip palwell u.s navy petty officer leoda bradshaw is alleged to be the mastermind behind the m-u-r-d-e-r for hire plot that claimed the lives of patterson and her daughter so yes my people one down three more to go right or maybe even more than three because you never can tell if more persons are going to be arrested but him plead guilty, my people. Me I tell you no say yo. Me have to big up the officers them panda job here still. Big up man thing. So me I could just watch and see my people. Me want hear where Leo that Bradshaw I got plea. Me I tell you no my people. Me want see what's going to happen when it reach to she. Cause them say she are the mastermind behind everything, you know. Anyway, my people, me just there for me to know what's going on. So as usual, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Is it? So the next thing we're gonna talk about is one one can or one one nine, which is the man who have been speaking out. As as it relates to Miss Kitty recently. Now, something did that spread on TikTok say Miss Kitty husband filed a $20 million lawsuit against him. So, you don't know him actually followed out for clear the ear. And him also a talk about a new song where him have named Two Plate of Food. Now, obviously, you know that song, Two Plate of Food, is actually inspired by, I don't want to say real events, I'm going to say alleged real events during this man alleged date with him and Miss Kitty. I may have used the word alleged because I never see them on the date, and him come out and say him and Miss Kitty go on the date, and she named Two Plate of Food, and he turn him off and them things. So, he make a song about the whole situation now. But anyway, the main thing him does want to make people know about this defamation, $20 million or alleged $20 million defamation last hope by Miss Kitty husband. So let us get to what he has to say, my people. And when you can tell me anything, I want to make it plain and straight. 119 don't get no lawsuit. So all who have spread rumor, 
Say so one one nine get twenty million dollar lawsuit. Not no go so here. <laughs> Not a thing go so. <laughs> and one one nine afraid of people. <laughs> and one one nine know the law. Me know what he say. Me know one name defamation. But I allow this thing in, but I don't keep a draw me out in. Oh no, see the more on the talk and the more me talk. Be afraid of people, man. Come on. <laughs> All the only comment at this that that the only comment one one nine care about is the comment about my new tune, two plate of food. Go over YouTube, go look on them comment there. I mean, I make sure one and you know, anybody go and that. Two plates of food by YouTube with not disrespectful comment and insult. It got delete immediately. The only comment must be about the song Two Plates of Food by YouTube. And that's the thing there. But 119 not getting a lawsuit here. I make nobody fool you know. And the picture they want to circulate with me and Winford Williams. That picture there are from 10 years ago. When me keep my birthday party up at Carlos Cafe in New Kingston. And Winford come cover my birthday party. So no stop spread false rumors here. No lawsuit. Not no gossip. Me just a clear the ear upon that. And the two plate of food song. I eat enough to talk about. <laughs> and that enough. <laughs> and that enough to focus on that now. Here. And come off of the fuckery. 119. Alright, my people. So over on TikTok, a lot of persons seem to be happy when them hear this news because them say that brother you chat too much. They might talk up a bag of things about him, you understand? But like me always say, everybody have the internet and everybody free for use it. You understand? Me naga ever forward pan in it and this the brother here because him you know me might like Miss Kitty, but you know, him have a different experience around her. You understand my people, so I have to slow him, make him do him thing. And the man say I'm not afraid of people and him know how to use the law as well. So I suppose him him understand you know where to draw the line as it relates to saying certain things, yes it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Bert Samuels, which is the attorney representing Sean Storm, reacting to some good news that came out yesterday. Say Cartel and the co accused were actually granted an emergency hearing next year you understand my people so let me get into this article Bert Samuels is very optimistic like me say him feel like say they might actually win this case you see my people but this is what the article is saying we are more than ready attorney Bert Samuel says ahead of Vibes Cartel Valentine's Day appeal dance hall fans mounted fresh concerns over the health of Vibes Cartel as it emerged that his attorneys had won an expedited appeal hearing for the incarcerated dance hall artists and three other men the hearing will take place in the United Kingdom based Privy Council Jamaica's final appellate court between February the 14th and 15, 2020 24. Cartel is one of four men currently serving life sentences for the 2011 takeout of Clive Lizard Williams. Cartel's health condition has not lessened any, Isat Buchanan said. Earlier this year, attorneys revealed that Cartel, whose real name is Adija Palmer, suffers from grave disease and two heart conditions. His medical conditions were allegedly exacerbated by a 23 hour prison lockdown placed on the DJ following the recent discovery of cellular phones within his cell. Cartel's condition has not been contained or regularized. He is ill, Buchanan admitted, saying that the new dates came as a result of cartel health concerns which were made public just a few months ago. Back in July, Bert Samuels, the attorney for Sean Storm Campbell, had announced that the UK court had set tentative dates of April the 16th through the 18th in 2024 to hear the main arguments in the quartet's appeal. We are more than ready to proceed on February the 14th, attorney at law Bert Samuels. Samuel said. He added, the team of attorneys for the four appellants are more than ready. The matter has been set for two days. We must be ready. The accused has been in custody for over 12 years and therefore we have no choice but to be happy about the fact that the expedition request has been granted. The matter has been moved two months forward. We are ready to roll at that time. Yes, it, my people. So that's our bird Samuel's officer. Them not really have no choice but for actually be ready. You understand? Because 
because if you ask for things to be speed up, then you have to have all of your evidence together. You have to have everything where I go help cartel and you know the rest of man them for bust off that case here. You understand my people? So where you think when you feel like say freedom is a most more people, when you feel like say vibes cartel will be free. Well not just cartel, cartel and Sean Stam and the rest of people, when you feel like say they will be freed, or do you think that you know some foul play are gonna happen more people? More I wanna leave it in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Ramesh basically train some shades at triple X, right my people? Now remember the other day when Ramesh did keep the job fear and him did a charge a thousand dollar, triple X did forward out and him did say some things as it relates to the the type of people them will work for Ramesh and the promotion uh, and in basically I say the money where them make can really help them like for, for, you know for live on them own then basically must say I be a cool kids be a picnic where I have them parents still pay bills because he must say minimum wage can really help them and you don't know Ramesh felt some type of way Ramesh say I see him for see him and just slap him with a trouble buckle you understand my people now triple X did actually clap back and him double down pan with him say because him never take it back right my people so you don't know Triple X feel as if people were working with Ramesh can't really make it far in her life so what did Ramesh do he actually make a post and show us a look the people them with their own him them actually get for fly and them get for travel to other countries there's a lot of opportunities when you work with Ramesh entertainment right my people so he posted up that photo you can see say Bishop Escobar they in the photo as well as some girls and these people are all signed to Ramesh entertainment right and them they in our next country Barbados so Rami say the cool kids in Barbados and him tag Bishop Escobar and three of Ramish entertainment dancers doing promo outside Jamaica what a good look big up Magnum, Tan Magnum Tanic Wine and Campari Caribbean over six years of promotion in Caribbean and counting then look at this now now promo make some of them girls here travel for the first big look I will forever push my team to the limit hashtag one dream one no one one team, one dream, and him say major marketing JA up next. Whatever that is, you understand my people. So, him basically I show us a look. The cool kids, which is what Triple X refer to, the people them with their own Ramesh as actually get for fly out. You understand? So, other persons, what people like to be, I say Jamaican people, them like to be a part of. Them like to be a part of the cool kids, and the truth of the matter is, Ramesh Entertainment is the cool is the coolest kids. You know. Of course, Ramesh is doing something good because I tell number people, he might provide jobs for people. And even if he's paying minimum wage, you still have a chance to make money. Like when you do promo at certain events, you understand you can't make a whole heap of money. It's just like when you work in a supermarket, when you push a trolley out, sometimes people tip your five bills. I am telling you these people, you say sometimes the tips them where the man them push a trolley make way more down them pay. You understand? So even if they might get 13 grand, 12 grand, whatever the minimum wage is in, sometimes them double all that with them tip because you have some people tip them all 15 bills and that's just one person you know much Charlie them push out for the day even though it is kind of a difference because I don't think I don't know if these promo girls work every single day or just when events book I don't know how it go but anyway my people now understand what I say so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing I'll talk about is Valiant who is now denying that he was actually dissing Popcorn now on the notes of Popcorn and the rapper 21 Savage link up and we see a whole heap people uh, um, you know, I talk about popcorn a groupie and Valiant actually make a post on him Instagram status with the word groupie. And then the people they must say a popcorn him a this and now him actually respond to them. You understand my people? So let me get into this article so I understand what's going on. Is it so? This is what the story I say. Valiant denies shading popcorn and claps back at dancehall fans on social media. Popular entertainer Valiant has moved to address accusations from dancehall fans on social media claiming he's shading fellow artist Popcorn, of whom visual surfaced online on Tuesday night with rapper 21 Savage partying in Jamaica. The controversy stems from an Instagram story Valiant shared on Wednesday morning featuring the word groupie, a face palm emoji, and musical notes. In response to Valiant, post one user remark that you the are going in bed with popcorn panning mine you know the bad mind part of him come out while another added 
what is for Jaja all know popcorn don't see the man visibly perturbed Valentina now deleted comment countered these claims with a lengthy three part statement declaring me do every two like answer them posts you know but listen me now me not seek hype me not seek hype off a no man for relevant my work for everything I have me not frightened for nothing on a low me make me go on master my craft and give me a BBC break man F donor, think me I met none of to stop me youth food, brother. Jamaican people, when to stop try sink youths when them arise here. Now mix me with nobody, brother. Furthermore, the mad out hitmaker emphasizes humility, respect for others, and intention to do the right thing. He also raised concerns about media corruption. Matter of fact, you know, me me tell you know, me me tell my BBC self, me nah met no na wanna f with my focus, but some of uno because s uno mother man, me in a the game for stay. All if you don't like it, P U S S Y, come war for and my time. Tell dead boy and dead girl that. You know, long my humble and show respect to everybody and calm. Me never yet run out of hits, no time. All when me asleep, flow fine, you know. Go and continue to draw down the BBC dance all year. Cause uno no see man out here try to do the right thing, you know. Just love my BBC name, man. Make me continue to dominate here. Yeah? Corruption start from the media. In conclusion, he urged fans to cease gossiping about his name, reiterating his focus on his own career and music. BBC now. You know, stop BBC mix me up, man. Nah, me it's no man. Me a focus on music. As me post something, you know, on a drama man name pan it. Me not look hype or nothing off of nobody. Me in a my own space. I do my own thing. Why you know mix me up? As a matter of fact, me want all of you know where I comment negative things. Because you know, you know love draw down people in on the negativity. Me a work on a song and post it for my fans, them brother. You know, give me a BBC break, man. Kiss me teeth. Stop kissing. Carry down my thing, brother. All on do I try to sing the artist them. Amidst the gossip, Valiant continues to dominate the local scene and remains one of the most sought after tickets in dance hall heading into festive season. So that is where Valiant Office says, Zin, my people, I'm going to be honest, me can't blame the people them who think they are popcorn and shades. You understand? Because if a lot of persons out there are said you are groupie and then you put up a post as a groupie, right? You know, say some people are going to run with it. I tell you, if Valiant never know that, then he not study how the internet work. You understand, my people? People. So I just one of them thing there. I never even see when him at it in my people. As somebody may see post it and as some actually know about it. Cause it's not like I go there check people's status for see where them post. If me see a status, me see it. If me not see it, if somebody post it over pink wall or whatever it may be, me see it that way there. But me not really watch that. But when they you post it at that time there, people are gonna think of popcorn yeah. This is it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about Massacre speaking on Bounty Killer and also the influence that Bounty Killer had on him, right my people? So let me get into this article right about now. So it's a Massacre names Bounty Killer his biggest musical influence. Massacre is touting Bounty Killer as one of the main artists to inspire him in his early career. Dancehall veteran Bounty Killer is often regarded as a godfather, one who has paved the way for many and has influenced generations of artists. Though we seldom hear young artists actually name drop when asked the popular question these days, Massacre was far from reluctant to share how much he looked up to Bounty Killer as a young man pursuing a music career. In a recent interview with Major Stage, the genocide artist spoke candidly about who he is in and outside of music, his goals, influences and more. Massacre revealed that his biggest motivation is his family as they drive him to be a better person and to create a better way for them. Meanwhile, he credits his father as the person in his life that inspires him the most. He also gave a shout out to his hometown of Portmore, Jamaica, which he says is historically a lyricist factory producing the likes of Vibes Cartel and others. This, he says, has shaped his sound and wordplay when asked who his biggest musical influences are. Massacre was prompt in his response, which acknowledged Bounty Killer. Musically, I have a lot of influences, he said. I grew up a listen Bounty. He is one of the persons who I really emulate in the early part of my career. Just the aggressiveness, just the drive, that sound, that power. Bounty Killer is just like a force to be 
reckon with and I just always like that. He's not easily moved or intimidated so definitely the dancehall star perhaps also inspired by Bounty's longevity says that in 10 years he hopes to cross over still doing the music he loves and making it big. As one of the greatest dancehall artists, Masika describes his own music as totally different, above average and unique and says his song They Don't Know tells his story the most. He also shared that many might not have known that he is a relatively calm, observant and low-key person who doesn't necessarily like crowds outside of work, of course. Alright people, so that's not the full article but you don't know, just I read the part where I mainly talk about Bounty and the influence, you see it. So yeah, it's definitely a good look, you see me? Massacre is not the only person where Bounty influence. Bounty influence Boy, so much youths in the game. You understand? Whether someone admit it or not, but you don't know the thing. Big up Bounty and big up Massacre for keeping it real. You see it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Ding Dang Song being banned in um, London, right, my people? So let me get to this story so I understand what's going on. Is it? So it's a Ding Dang dance song banned from London Club for Safety. Ding Dang is reacting to his music being banned in a club in London. History says that dance and music is no stranger to being prohibited, whether it's on the radio or at events. The genre has always seemed repellent with socially controversial music that often does not meet bureau standards and is not family friendly. In recent times, a legion of Jamaican artists was subjected to the new broadcasting commission policy that disallowed airplay of certain topics. As a result, many many popular songs that were radio staples were no longer hitting the airwaves. While members of the dancehall community have grown accustomed to certain sanctions being placed on music with a distinct level of slackness, think of Ramping Shop by Cartel and Spice. Instructional dance music artists like Ding Dang have long been exempted from this custom as its content is always palatable to the masses. Interestingly enough, over in the UK, Two of the ravers dancing king songs were reportedly banned in a random nightclub. The dancehall star took to Instagram to share a post that a fan brought to his attention through Instagram stories. In the image, a note plastered on the DJ booth in the club warned, No plain fling, ding dong, or ravers gas, ding dong, these songs are banned. At first glance, many were bewildered by the memo, questioning why music suitable for all audience could not be played at this particular venue. However, Ding Dong responded to the story requesting answers himself and the Instagram post featured a second slide with a screen recording of the Englishman response. Uh, in the caption of his post, Ding Dong wrote, Just imagine your songs banned from the club because it gets people moving too hard. Fans had mixed reactions in the comment section where many were amused by the reasons behind the ban, while others were deeply dis disappointed in the decision. Them old people hating in the building will collapse, one commenter equipped. Bro, the song I have nothing to do with it. British man them just wild when them drink, another person said. All right, people, so what do you think about that? Some of Ding Dong songs actually being banned. You see it, my people? Ah, oh, boy, I mean, even know what to say about it. You don't know. It's not like it really going to affect him a certain way. I mean, it's not a good feeling, yes, because I mean, I feel a way about I know that not take money out of pocket. You understand what I mean? I say, my people, so... You know, and that's one of them things there, see? But that's, that's my personal opinion. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, is it? Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.